Uh, let's talk about Elon Musk. Uh, he's the richest person in the world, and that might be uh, some of the reason why so many people, certainly in this country, seem to hate him, including our government, including our prime minister. Uh, he was uh, pointedly not invited to a business investment conference last week, uh, which was supposed to stimulate investment in this country. Now, I think Elon would have come if he was invited, but we didn't invite him because he's had a bit of a thing going on with our president. Uh, but generally speaking, I'm wondering why uh, Elon, uh, a fascinating guy, a clever guy, brilliant guy, a uh, fascinating space programme, you know, brilliant businessman. Uh, why does everybody hate him? Why is that? Uh, let's talk to his dad, uh, Errol Musk. Uh, welcome to the show, Errol. Thank you. Uh, what, what is your feeling about that? I, is it pure jealousy? I mean, your son is an unusual man. I think he's very charismatic. I think he's fascinating. I think he's brilliant. I think he's 20 years ahead of the rest of us. Uh, I don't hate him. But in this country, in Britain... Millions of people seem to. Why is that, do you think, Errol? Well, I don't think that's true at all. I think oh, well, no, it is not... true. Trust me, it is true. Well, you know, there's two species of people. You know, the, there's the uh, useless people, the, <laughs> the can't-do-anything people, and then there's the people who can. So all the can people, can-do people, they are much uh, in favour of Elon. The people who can't do anything, they are the people who don't like him. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good point. The, the fiscal jealousy is a very powerful human emotion. Uh, and, of course, everybody's jealous of the richest man. I'm, I like your son. I'm a big fan of your son. Uh, but I'm jealous of his wealth, I'll tell you that. What did you think, Errol? Uh, it was only last week uh, when Britain, Keir Starmer, not uh, uh, Elon's favourite person, and the feelings are mutual. Uh, we had an investment conference for businessmen and people all over the world to come to London uh, to encourage investment in this country. Uh, our Prime Minister and indeed our government did not invite uh, arguably the most successful businessman on the face of the planet. That's your son. What did you think yeah. about that? What did you think about that? It was just plain stupid. You know, plain stupid. Stupid. Stupid decision. Stupid decision. You know, what else can you say? Uh, you know, small people behaving in a small way. Um, not that Elon would care less. You know, I think, I imagine, you know, being slighted like that, I suppose it would annoy a person or feel a little hurt. But I mean, I don't think he gives, you, you said something about he hates Storm. I don't think he gives Storm a second thought. So, you know, I, I really don't. So, well, let, let, let's, just, let's, let's just say, Errol, that uh, uh, they're not each other's greatest fans. You know, they had this sort of spat during the summer over the riots. And, uh, of course, uh, Elon now says, uh, why would anyone want to come to Britain uh, when the government, as in Keir Starmer, uh, is busy releasing, and this is true, uh, releasing very dangerous prisoners... Uh, we're doing that en masse. We've released about, uh, I think it's about uh, nearly 3,000 over the past month, dangerous prisoners early, and we're re replacing them uh, with people who posted nasty words on social media, people who posted allegedly racist remarks or whatever. Now, no one's condoning that sort of thing, but it doesn't really warrant a police, a prison sentence, I think. So uh, Elon uh, picked Keir Starmer up on that, and uh, the rest is history. They don't seem to like each other. Well, you know, I mean, releasing prisoners, uh, people who've convicted of crimes, mm. and placing people who have every every reason to be upset about circumstances in England uh, and putting them in prison is, uh, you know, it's like going back 400 years. So you, you've, you've just gone back 400 years of progress. You've just lost 400 years of progress. You are back in the uh, time maybe of uh, Henry VIII or something like that. So, you know, where, where, where common sense doesn't rule, uh, idios, 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 idios rules. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't think Elon gives these people a second thought. They are not in his league. Um, uh, they are very small people. Mm. Uh, they've got there through the machinations of the modern uh, election system. Uh, they, they are nobodies. They are absolutely nobodies. They will be forgotten in, in a short time. Yeah. Um, you know, if, if Stormer had any pride, he would resign.
Mm. Um, you know, I certainly would if I was him. I would not <laughs> uh, in issues. With, I'm with you there. Uh, I'm trying to forget Starmer and his government. Unfortunately, we're stuck with him for the next four and a half years, uh, which is a terrifying prospect. Uh, let me ask you about Elon. Uh, well, first of all, did, did you always know he was kind of special? Did you always think he might end up being quite as successful as he is? Well, you know, we, we are, you know, thank thank the Lord, we are a successful family, you know. Um, every generation has been quite successful. We, you know, we try each generation to improve on the last one. And, um, you know, so that's happened. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think we think in terms of, uh, you know, how wonderful we are or anything like that. Yeah. We simply try to do the, the best we can. That, that's all. And uh, we are part of the can-do brigade. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's a species that we belong to and the, uh, we don't really get on with the other species. Uh, what about... <laughs> OK, fair enough. Uh, what about his uh, political leanings? You know, uh, right wing supporting uh, Donald Trump. And by the way, I don't say uh, those things in a pejorative way. Uh, did, 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 uh, did, would you have expected him to uh, be right of centre when it comes to politics? Well, you know, Elon is not right wing. Uh, he, he's normal. Uh, you know, he's normal. So so he's not right-wing at all. Elon is uh, dead center. So this right-wing nonsense is it's just a load of rubbish. Mm. So, yeah, no, he's dead center. So uh, we're just normal, you know. We, we're not, uh, we're not uh, you know, we're not a, a crowd who are, you know. I, I look back on the time when I, say, for example, was in university and we, we had the sort of complaining brigade, you know. They were forever complaining and moaning and getting together and having protests. They were, they were all the people who failed, you know, <laughs> uh, mostly law students. And, and, you know, they were useless. Uh, uh, they were the people who were grubby and dirty. And uh, we were the people who liked where we were. And we, uh, we are those kind of people. So you have two, kinds of, two types of species in the world. And at the moment, there's a war on between these two types of species. Yeah. And um, it's a question of who wins. If, the, if they win by their number, only because of number, it's a very sad thing to happen. So then, you know, we may be stuck, you may be stuck in 400 years ago, so you or 500, you may be stuck in the time of Henry VIII. Well, what has happened putting people in prison for voicing com perfectly legitimate uh, uh, complaints? Mm. Uh, and, and of course, at times losing their temper slightly, which is normal. I mean, everybody does that. Mm. And, um, and then putting them in prison. I, I can't believe it. And um, that uh, these people have not been released by now is absolutely uh, appalling. And um, if, if this Stromer, Mr. Plod, or whatever, he's not, he's an insult to Mr. Plod. If, if he uh, doesn't uh, release these people soon, uh, then one has to come to the conclusion that England has definitely regressed and that the people, like the people of Nazi Germany, uh, have agreed as a, as a, as a nation to draconian laws which have no place in England, yeah. absolutely no place in England. England has always been a sort of, um, has became a sort of, um, you know, a sort of a bastion of leadership uh, for everyone that, you know, you could actually be somebody, you could think, you could talk. You know, all the great people of the past, 50% of them came from England. Yeah. So, you know, um, it's a very sad situation that we have now. Uh, I urge this uh, Starmer to uh, resign. He doesn't look the part, uh, and none of them look the part, actually. And um, as far as their, their science uh, fair is concerned, um, it's a joke. So, you know, uh, it's a, just a big joke. It's As I said on another network, it's the uh, boys who didn't get uh, selected to be in the school's uh, A and B team who decided to go off and make their own teams and, um, you know, form their own little B and A, a and B team somewhere else, uh, which is quite uh, laughable, you know. Uh, Errol, really good to talk to you. I just want to point out that many of us are not accepting uh, Starmer's regime uh, and uh, the imprisoning of these people who put nasty words on social media like your son's ex or Twitter as it used to be. I mean, not only are they getting imprisoned, 
They're getting a pr uh, imprisoned for grotesquely long periods of time. You know, for writing a few words on Facebook, uh, they're getting three years and things like that. So many of us, are, we're doing our best to rail against that. So I don't want you to get the impression that we are accepting this tyranny of this Labour government because we're not. But in the meantime, Errol, really, really good to talk to you. Come on again soon. Uh, that was excellent. Thank you very much.